Hi, I'm Deanne Marie, creator of Your Virtual Decorator, and this week we're going back to the bookcase that we created a new bag for last week. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. Now we're going to be arranging books and accessories on the shelves. There are five steps to arranging a bookcase. First of all is to sort. You're going to sort all of your books into categories that make sense for you. It might be by color or alphabetically by author. For me, it was by topic or genre. So I have things like biography, travel, business, of course design, and create groupings of those categories. And then you'll see how much space each category is going to take on your shelves. Step number two is to go ahead and stack them. Now there are seven ways, yes, seven ways to stack books on a bookshelf. A lot more than just a single row of books like you find at a library. To get all seven ways, follow the link to the pin on my Pinterest board and it'll show you how. I've stacked these horizontally and here I have a more traditional row of books. Mix it up, keep it interesting when you're stacking your books. The third step is to stash. Now when I put my bookcase together, I noticed that my travel books were kind of small and cluttery, so I put them all in a decorative box and I have that on the shelf instead. You could also use perhaps something like this, a magazine file if you're putting magazines on your shelves. So go ahead and stash anything that looks cluttered or is a little bit too small to really make a statement. The magazine file, the box, the basket, that'll look much better on your shelves. The fourth step is to secure. That means to secure your stacks or rows of books with a bookend. Now you could get a traditional bookend like these at a retail shop, but why not think outside the box for your bookends? Really anything that has sufficient weight and size can be a bookend. So here's a couple of examples. We could use a piece of coral to hold up the books. Or how about a nice heavy crystal? That could also work. And here's a great decorator tip, is to use a small stack of books on their side at the end of a row of books. I love this look. And for something like this, I actually go to library sales to get interesting looking vintage books to use in my bookcase. I can use them either as a bookend or I'm just gonna put these over here as kind of a little decorative stack. And to secure this row of books, I'm gonna use this figurine that I got in China 20 years ago. It's a Xi'an warrior. So it's a souvenir as well as being functional. Our last step, of course, is to style. Here's where you can bring in some accessories, things that are meaningful to you, without making it look too cluttered. Now one of my general rules of thumb is to add shine wherever I can and a little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna use some mercury glass accessories on these shelves. And in this one I've stashed a flameless candle on a timer and it's just gonna add a little bit of ambiance to my shelves. Now let's finish up here with some accessories. Get a little bit more mercury glass. And then when you're arranging accessories, remember the rule of three. So three items or things in odd numbers always make, seems to make a little bit better style and design. So I've got a couple of small pictures and a shelf from one of my vacations. And there you go, a styled shelf on my bookcase. I'm gonna finish this up and I hope you can use these tips in your home to arrange a stylish bookcase. I'm Deanne Marie, your virtual decorator, reminding you to love where you live.